Okay, guys, so we have an important transfer here. Lucas Perry have agreed to join us. All right, so now the dilemma starts. Should I sign Luca Perry or Niklas Hedler? Okay, so Niklas Hedler, right? So he's a young player. He had potential. He could be potentially as good as Lucas Perry. Okay, uh, what in the future? But when we compare the polygon, right? When we compare these two players, obviously Perry is a better player than, you know, Niklas Hedler. All right, so... To be honest, if this was a long-term safe, right, I will be signing what Niklas Hedl because as you compare, right, okay, so Lucas Perry will be costing us, you know, 12.5 million of a transfer value and uh, what Hedl is going to be only 7.75 million and we are going to be obviously paying a lower salary to Hedl uh, compared to Perry. Perry, we are going to be paying him about 4.78 million, all right, but I think, right, I think, <laughs> I know this is going to be a wrong thing and you guys might tell me that I was wrong and everything and all, okay? Uh, but I think, you know, since this is the short-term save, right, I will be signing Lucas Perry, okay? So what am I going to do is I'm going to accept this transfer, although we are paying him a lot, but I think I'm going to sign him, okay? I'm going to be signing him, right? So I've already done that. And Niklas Hedl, right? Niklas Hedl, I think I'm still going to be delaying it Okay, because uh, who knows, who knows if I can get an offer for Jason Steele, I might, you know, I might sell Jason Steele and sign Niklas Hedl to be as our backup goalkeeper. I think that is going to be great, right? Since he actually did agree, you know, um, oh, I can't really see our contract offer. So he did, he, he did agree to be as our backup goalkeeper. So maybe I should be trying to sell Jason Steele, right? By the way, guys, I just realized that we are only in the 21st of June. So, you know, there's still a long way of the summer transfer window to go. So, you know what am I going to do? I'm going to be, you know, keep things rolling, you know, keep things going. And I will see you guys in the 1st of July. You know, we will go through the, you know, transfers that we have done. You know, transfer in and out. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Do not go anywhere. Alright guys, so it is the 1st of July and let's talk about the transfers that I have done. The transfer out first. Okay, so I've actually sold Abdallah Sima to Leon for 11.5 million. So this player, I know his attribute looks good, his technical ability, his physical is quite good. But I don't think he was ever going to break through to our first team. Alright, so we have the likes of, you know, Facundo and Solimash and our new right winger. Okay, so I don't think he will ever get to play at all for us. Even in real life, he have never made an appearance for Brighton and all. They signed him for 6 million. We sold him on for almost double the transfer that they spent on him. It is a good business. I sold Jason Steele to Real Sociedad for 11 million. So that means we have two new goalkeepers. Lucas Perry and Nicholas had a exciting times here in Brighton right now. Okay, so one, one goalkeeper that is a first choice goalkeeper and another one with lots of potential. So Jacob Moder have actually gone to Sheffield United for 18 million transfer value. Alright, so it's going to be an initial 15 million with a potential add-on, you know, that will actually bring up the value to 18 million. So if you look at this, you know, Brighton actually signed him for 9.25 million. He went off for about two years, you know, with an injury. Came back last season, good, put up a good performance. I'm not going to say that he was not good enough for us, but we managed to get a good profit for this player, guys. Alright, so we have a new right winger and that winger is Rooney Baji. And we only signed him for a measly 9.25 million guys and to be honest you know he is already better than Solimash let's have a comparison with him and Solimash and we will see what kind of good transfer that we have actually done I know the polygon doesn't look that good for Rooney Baji obviously he's only 18 years old he's defending his aerial ability is not great but I I don't think we are going to be using him for that but he is really good going forward any one of you that has been playing football manager you guys know that this Boy is amazing and he's going to be playing as our inside forward on the right hand side and i'm really looking forward you know to seeing him scoring goals for us this season guys all right so like i mentioned to you guys nicholas headers we have already you know confirmed his signing as well and we have signed matt o'reilly from celtic for 20 million guys this boy is going to be our first choice central midfielder and we're going to have billy gilmore as our uh, what well, as a backup to him which is really great you know, uh, I know he's injured right now, but I think this player, once he start playing, right, he is going to be really, really important to our midfield especially. And and I'm really excited about it. Okay, so there are some other transfers that I'm working on right now, you know, 
we have actually made an offer for Juan Foyt to be as our center back. I know he's normally, you know, uh, played as a right back and all, but I think his physical ability, right, is not going to be well suited as a wing back in our in our team. All right, so I've actually made an offer for him and I'm going to be playing him as our right center back. Okay, so we have made an offer of 41 million and we have actually uh, given him a contract of about 5 million per year. I know it's a little bit high, but look at his attribute, guys. He is a real quality player and I really hope he will join us and basically bolster up our defensive line. So the Sharp Eyes viewer would have saw this. We have made an offer for Ansu Fati and look at this. He's actually waiting for a work permit to join us permanently this season guys i know you know his wages are a little bit higher 10.14 million but he's worth it you know last season he was a very important player in our team he had 16 goal contribution for us and he was just an amazing player you know um yeah we are going to be spending about 55 million if i'm not mistaken on him and i think that is going to be worth it on the long run so guys, with all of the transfer done, this is how our first team 11 looks like right now. I know it is incomplete. Uh, we are still waiting for Ansu Fati to come in, obviously. And John Ford, once he joins in, right, we will still be lacking of a right back and a defensive midfielder. And you know what? For the right back, I've actually shortlisted two players, you know, that are going to be well suited for us. First of all, it's going to be Wenderson and Molina. So let's look at Molina first. So when we look at Molina over here, right, he is uh i wouldn't say average slightly above average if you look at his attribute right there's actually quite a lot of 14 and 15 on him all right so he's an ac milan player and i'm not sure whether i'm going to be signing him but you know let's look at wenderson first okay so wenderson is uh is basically my first choice to be honest for me to be signing i'm still scouting him but when we look at his attribute and we when we compare it to molina right where's molina yeah okay Wenderson is obviously better than him, you know, in every way. And he's only 23 years old. All right. So I'm not sure whether he still have uh, potential, you know, for him to realize. But first view on him, on his attribute, I think he is going to be well suited for our team. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make an offer. His transfer value is about 27 to 41 million. I'm going to be try. I'm going to try to be cheeky, you know, offer a 275 transfer value first and see what monaco have to say about it so they want 29 upfront and 15.5 on installments so i'm gonna make a counter offer here all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna remove this first and i'm gonna make the installment to be for three years okay and we're gonna make it same as what they were looking for 15.5 and let's suggest the terms okay so they have actually agreed and the potential value is going to be going up to 44.5 million I'm going to finalize the offer and let's see what he is to say. So let's look at his wage demand. He wants to be a star player. I'm going to, I'm going to offer him to become a, our regular starter. He still wants to be a star player. You know what? Finalize the promise and he wants about 6.4 million per annum. Oh my God. And he wants a minimum release clause. Hmm. You know what? Let's remove the sale on first percentage. We are going to be spending 44 million for him and he won 53 million. No. Let's talk about at least 70k, uh, 70 million, right? 70 million and let's try to lower it down to 5.4. He won 5.8 and 53 still. No, 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 no. Oh my god. They have limited the value already. Okay, so 5, 5.4. Okay. Alright, so we're going to finalize the deal. I'm not going to make a lot of uh, changes because, to be honest, our reputation is not that great either. So, for a player of, uh, you know, the caliber of Wenderson to be joining us, right, is going to be really, really great guy. Alright, so look at this. You know, there's a confirmation here. Ansu Fati have agreed to join us. 31 million, you know, upfront, And I'm going to accept this offer. This is going to be really, really great, guys. So, Ansu Fati is in the team right now. And we are looking on a, you know, defensive midfielder, a centre-back and a right back so what am i going to do is i'm going to try to look you know into our scouting report and try to find a good defensive midfielder for us guys all right guys, so we have confirmed the signing of juan Foyt from villarreal for 41.5 million seriously this is an amazing signing and i'm really excited to see him playing as our center back on the right hand side guys oh my god this season is going to be cracking okay guys so i've been looking around for defensive midfielder for us to sign and i've actually come up with two 
more shortlist. Actually, there's three. Uh, but Turam, I don't think we are going to be able to afford him. You know, his transfer value is about, you know, 52 to 78 million. So, if we, if we are going to make an offer, right? Let's see. Yeah, they're going to ask for about 107 million. And we only have, you know, 60 million transfer budget. And I don't think we are going to be able to afford him. All right, so that leaves us with Andre and Quinton Timber. Let's look at Quinton Timber first. All right, so when we look at the Quinton Timber here, right, he can actually play as a deep line playmaker on defense, and his attribute doesn't look that bad either. Okay, so you know there's a lot of 15 and 14 in his attributes, and yeah, he's only 23 years old, and I'm not sure how much or which demand is he looking for. Let's talk to the agent. All right, so the club would want about 26 to 38 million, you know, to make this deal possible. He want about. 3.5 to 4.25 you know uh, million million and he want to play as a central midfielder and i and i'm going to be playing him as a central def you know as a defensive midfielder so yeah okay all right so let's have a look let's have a talk with andre first so andre he can also play as a deep lying playmaker and when we compare both of these players right um, where is quinton timber all right they are very very similar players you know andre Uh, it's slightly, uh, <laughs> slightly not better than uh, you know, Quinton Timber. I would say you know, Quinton Timber. When we look at the polygon, slightly better than Andre. But I think Andre have a little bit of a potential for him to realize. So so he can actually still improve as a player for times to come. All right, and let's talk to his agent and see what do they want for him. All right, so he have a release clause about you know of about thirteen point five million, which is going to be great. Even his wage demands are lower than uh, Timber. So I think right for now I will be making an offer for you know Andre first. You know we are gonna you know trigger his release clause of thirteen point five million and let's offer him a contract. So initial promise he wants to play as a defensive midfielder with a role of an anchor. I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna try to change his playing time to regular starter. He still wants to be an important player. You know what? Let's give him important player. Let's just remove the you know the role. Uh, promise that we have with him. So I'm gonna offer him about you know two point five million and remove the sale on fee percentage. He still want two point eight. Um, you know what? Let's remove this and just offer him two point eight eight. Okay, so he have actually agree finalize the deal and let's just see if he joins us this summer. Okay, guys. So for the right back position, right? I've actually made an offer for another player still. You know, it is a uh, Michael Kayode. So Michael Kayode, right? When we look at him, you know, he is an amazing, amazing youngster. He's only 19 years old. He has tons of potential, and his attribute looks even better. So I've actually made an offer for him of about you know 27 million, which is obviously cheaper than Wenderson, and even his wage demand is lower than Wenderson. But we have one problem: he is under the bid of AC Milan as well. All right, so it's going to be either us or AC Milan. And if he agrees to join us, right, I will be signing him. Over Wenderson, I know when we compare him and Wenderson right now, obviously Wenderson looks better, okay. But you know, if we look at this, you know, Wenderson is twenty three years old. He don't have a lot of potential to improve. But this boy, you know, even now, you know, with a three star current ability, he is already looking good. And you know, I and I think he is better than uh, Tariq Lamte. Yeah, he is way better than Tariq Lamte. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's he's obviously going to be our first choice right back. And let's see if he choose to join us or AC Milan. Okay, guys. So a little bit of a bad news here. You know, Michael Kayode actually have agreed to join AC Milan. So you know what have I done? I have signed Wenderson. Alright, so Wenderson. Although you know, uh, I know you know when we were looking at the comparison and all, Kayode was obviously you know uh going to be better than Wenderson in the future. But yeah, I'm just gonna make myself. Feel better. Wenderson is better than Kayode. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually training him to play as a complete wing back, and most probably we will be playing him in this role. You know, when we play him in our team. All right, so for right now, right, I'm only waiting for Andre to you know uh to confirm his contract. Hopefully, he's going to be joining us this summer. And there's actually some players that I'm actually trying to offload. So hopefully, we are going to be able to sell them, and let's see who we can actually bring in to the. Team as well. All right, guys. So this is the thing that I was waiting for. Andre's transfer is going to be confirmed here. I'm gonna accept the offer, and we have a new defensive midfielder, guys. All right, guys. So with all of this transfer done, right, this is how our best eleven looks like. All right, it's Lucas Perry in goal, 
and Sergio Gomez on the left hand side is our left back, Luis Dung, Juan Foyt, Wenderson, Andre as our defensive midfielder, and then Matt O'Reilly as our central midfielder, Ansu Fati on the left, Smithrow as our shadow striker, Rooney Baji on the right hand side, and Evan Ferguson as our striker. I tell you guys, this team can actually win the Premier League in maybe another two more years, hopefully. You know, all right. So by the way, as you guys know, you know it's the 14th of July. The the you know the new season has been kicked off, and now let's have a look at our season preview. I've not looked at it yet, so let's have a look at it together. All right. So season preview shows that we are predicted to be finishing in the ninth position. Seriously, I've spent a lot of money, you know, and then you guys are telling me that we are going to be finishing in the ninth position. My goodness, seriously. I really thought that we have actually, you know, uh, improved the squad a lot. And I was really looking forward for at least a European, you know, qualification <laughs> this season by the media. Okay. If you look at this, you know, we still have a little bit of a transfer budget, you know, that we can actually play around with. 27.6 million and about uh, 2 million, you know, uh, wage budget that's still going on, that we still have. And I'm actually looking to sign Ethan Butera from Ajax. So, Ethan Butera is actually a centre-back and with our ageing defensive line, right? You know, Louis Dung is about 30 years old and we have Adam Webster who's, uh, I, I, I think he's about 29 or 30 years old. Wellman is also ageing right now. So, I think it is good time for us to sign, uh, you know, a centre-back who, who can actually grow in the background. He has lots of potential if you look at this, you know. I know he doesn't look that good, you know, one and a half star potential. But I think if we, we are going to be keeping him in our first team, you know, he's 18 years old. If he's signing, there's potential that he's going to be homegrown in club as well. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward. Hopefully, he's going to be, you know, he will join us. Okay, so this is the only transfer that, that I'm working on right now. Okay, so I think uh, I don't want this video to be too long. You know, we have been talking a lot regarding the, you know, regarding the team and everything. And I'm really happy with the transfer that we have done in today's episode. All right, so let's talk about our first game. So our first game, we are going to be facing Sheffield United. And our second game is going to be against West Ham. Alright, so that is the, you know, these are the games that I'll be coming in back for tomorrow's episode. So do not miss that. And let's have a look at how our team is going to fare against this team. You know, basically our new team is going to fare against all of this team in this season. I'm really looking forward for at least one trophy in our season 2 in Brighton's Let's Play. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.